What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you my next Steel Path Viable rebuild, and this is for Nami Solo. Let's get into this. <laughs> All right, so a couple months back, I did a build for Nami Solo, and because of the new Galvanized mods, I've rebuilt Nami Solo with them being used to make it a lot stronger. Um, before we get into the build, I'll quickly go over the Incarnum Evolutions, because I do have the Incarnum form for this weapon. So, of course, Incarnum Evolution 1 is just the Incarnum form. It greatly increases range, melee damage, sprint speed, and parkour velocity. Uh, evolution 2 is Brigand's Frenzy. Increased base damage by 80% on equip, plus 30% attack speed for 4 seconds. Evolution 3, Lone Blade, with melee weapon equipped. Increased base follow-through by 60%. And Evolution 4, Absolute Valor. Increased base critical chance by 21%. And then if we go straight into the build. So we've got Sundering Weave as the stance mod. Steady chopping strikes with focus damage. We've got Blood Rush, 40% critical chance, stacks with combo multiplier. This is great because it works with another one of the galvanized, new galvanized mods. Galvanized Steel um, for 110% critical chance, times two for heavy attacks on melee kill, plus 30% critical damage for 20 seconds, stacks to four times. This doesn't only just give you critical chance, but it also gives you critical damage, which is crazy for this. Prime pressure point for 165% melee damage. Galvanized reflex for 50% heavy attack efficiency and on melee kill plus 20% initial combo for 20 seconds stacks to four times. So when you get a kill, this gives you initial combo plus 20, which is great because it takes you to like five of six and you need to get to six to get to your um, Incarnum Evolution. So really good. Berserker Fury on melee kill plus 35% attack speed for 10 seconds, stacks up to two times, which again is actually really good. Once you've gotten a kill, you just get your attack speed dramatically increased. Keep getting kills, your attack speed stays high. Virulent Scourge for 60% toxin and 60% status chance. We've got Primed Reach for 2.5 um, times range. I don't have this at max. I believe it's like 3.5 at max. Um, if you have it at max, though, it's a lot better, but I do not currently. And Organ Shatter for 90% critical damage. Of course, upgrading your natural um, critical damage because you're getting a lot of crits. And then for the, the Arcane slot, I'm running Melee Fortification. Mine's only unranked, though, um, which is a bit annoying. I've been trying to farm them, but it's a slow process farming them. So hopefully by after like the next couple of builds in the next few weeks, I'll have that fully done, but I won't know until then. Um, so that's the basic build. So it's got attack speed of 1.3, range of 4.95 meters, which is great. Follow through of 70%, which is decent for a melee weapon. Uh, base critical chance of 75.6. Of course, that goes up with Blood Rush and with Galvanized Steel. Uh, critical Multiplier at 3.8 times. Again, goes up with Galvanized Steel. Uh, status of only 40%. So we are running a major crit build. And the only status we're running is Toxin, which is actually really solid on its own anyway. And that's basically it for the build itself. Let's jump into the mission. I'll show you what this thing can do. All right, so as per normal, we're here at Oxmoco in the Void. I'll quickly explain why as per usual. So we're here at Oxmoco in the Void because the Void is one of the latest game areas of the Steel Path. Not to mention you're dealing with the Corrupted. The Corrupted deal with enemies with uh, just health, enemies with health and shields and enemies with high armor, giving you a more varied example of what your weapon slash Warframe can do. And finally, this is a Steel Path viable build. So I label it as viable because it is viable to use this on the Steel Path. Albeit, it's not probably going to not get you to level 9,999 enemies. So, if you're here for that kind of build, I would watch someone else's build. Because I don't go for that. But, once you start getting one kill, that's it. The weapon picks up dramatically. We're already almost at getting it fully done. There we go. Incarnum Evolution activated. So with the evolution now active, it gets a lot more range and a lot more damage. <laughs> like, I think Nami Solo might be my new favorite melee weapon. It is just so cool. It's a little machete that turns into a pirate sword. But it does a ridiculous amount of damage. Like, damage numbers-wise, it is solid. Like, it hits through most things. Like, I've been doing Steel Path um, demos, not the normal demos stuff, the, the newer stuff. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. Um, but it has been so freaking solid. Like, Nami Solo is just my go-to weapon currently. I'm also in the process of rebuilding a bunch of my other melee weapons as well, thanks to the new Galvanized mods. 
but it is slow going because like I'm playing the game actively as much as I can without sacrificing not playing other games. Where is he? Come here, you. Um, but thanks to the Galvanized mod, our combo multiplier is already starting at five times anyway, which is actually decent if you're just going to go for a heavy attack, like out of the gate. Basically, with melee weapons, it's the same way it always has been. The longer you use it, the better off you're going to be with using it. But that's the way melee's always been. And as per normal, I will stay in until the Acolyte comes. Also, for those wondering how Incarnum Evolutions work for melee weapons, if you've never done one, um, so with most melee weapons, it's time-based. You'll have the Incarnum form for a while, and then it'll just cancel. At which time, you then just have to rebuild your combo multiplier and use it again. So we're currently in the process of it coming off. We're at 12 times multiplier, which is going to go down to 5 times again. Now, if you notice it on the bar in the center, that's slowly ticking down. That's going to be our indicator. There is Jade Xmas. Uh, I hate Jade Xmases. Where is it? There we go. And dead. I hate Jade Xmases. They're a pain in the ass. Right, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, this thing is shredding through incredibly fast. And thanks to Toxin as well, like, they'll take health damage over time anyway. It's kind of similar to Viral, although not as potent as Viral in my opinion, but it still works. But the reason why we're not running Viral is because we've got Primed Reach on, because of having more range with this weapon's actually beneficial, because of its follow-through. Because the weapon's got decently high follow-through. Oh, there we go. We can reactivate it. Beautiful. A lot of Eximuses today. That's fine. Oh, Jim, there we go. But like Nami Solo is a legit weapon. Like, I love it. <laughs> like, let me know in the comments down below what your opinions of Nami Solo are. Like, I love Nami Solo. I think it's a sick weapon. Like, it's a solid weapon. It's not hard to build at all. For me, I'd put it in the same kind of level as Atomos nowadays. Like, it's not hard to build, and you don't need a really high mastery rank for it. But it's, for considering how easy it is to get, it's a legit weapon. With its Incarnum form, it's super legit. Like, really solid. Wait for the acolyte to come in anytime today, please. But like the amount of damage numbers you can get from crits with this thing is nutty. Do I look like I care? There we go. Ah, oh, he's not going to come in before my combo multiplayer runs out. That's annoying. Right, I'm, oh wait. Oh. Really? I come up here to get you and you do that crap? Well, as you can see, um, even without a massive combo multiplier, <laughs> that's what happens to the Acolyte. <laughs> this thing shreds Acolytes like crazy. Like, this thing genuinely shreds Acolytes. And that's with that, that was only with a six times multiplier, too. Like, it doesn't need a high multiplier. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing. It just shreds enemies like crazy. But yeah, let me know what you think about this build in the comments down below. Don't forget, you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month. And don't forget, I do live stream. When I go live, I go live here on YouTube and over on Twitch. My streams here on YouTube are in the shorts feed, so more for mobile. If you want to catch the exact same streams, though, at the exact same time in Fulton ATP, Feel free to join me on Twitch. That link is in the description below.